and welcome to the Oatana Today Show. I'm Shelley White. Ted, almost forgot my name. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope you got out and voted yesterday. Otherwise, you're in trouble. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We would like to welcome you to the Oatana Today Show. You can find us six days a week right here on Charter Channel 8. But if for some reason you can't catch us in one of the times we're being shown on Charter Channel 8, you can always find us on the internet. We're on Blip TV, YouTube, as well as Facebook. And don't forget, when you like us on Facebook, you can win a pair of tickets to the Steel County Blades home game. It's a fun time to get out and have a good time, and it would be free. So that's always a good time. If for some reason you're not on Facebook, you could always send us an email and let us know at uh, Oatana Today at charter.net or if you have liked this already go ahead and like one of these episodes like this episode specifically and we'll get you into that drawing as well don't forget we always love feedback from the community if you have a great idea of something you'd like to see right here on Oatana Today show we want your feedback so you can send us an email at Oatana Today at charter.net or you can give Leanne Alt a call at 390-5751 and as you know Oatana Today would not be what we are without our sponsors and we'd like to welcome our newest sponsor that's the Advocates for De Developmental Disabilities Festival of Trees they're supporting us here at the Otana Today Show and we're so thankful for that a good show coming up for you today and I can say that unequivocally because we're going to be talking with Adam and Amy Martinez of Snap Fitness and then talking to um, we have Deanna Kennan and Diane Sandwall these are two ladies who are working with Iris Infants Remembered in Silence and you're going to want to listen to that and talk about the turkey trot that's coming up that's all here on today show. We'll be right back. I'm Dan Branstead of Carlson Branstead and Company, Certified Public Accountants. We support the Oatana Today Show. you can talk to we're growing with you with you in mind and everything we do oh a ton of public utilities hi this is laura wrestler greeting you from the steel county historical society's history center where we're honoring the past and looking towards the future we're proud to be a sponsor of the oatana today show Kick off your holiday season with Advocates for Developmental Disabilities, 22nd Annual Festival of Trees, Friday, November 16th at 7.30 p.m. at our new location, the Steele County History Center. The opening night gala is a festive evening of sparkling trees, live and silent auctions, and delectable hors d'oeuvres, all wrapped in a gift package of goodwill. Tickets are available at Cashwise, hy V and Kakis, or phone 451-9769. Put some Mary in your holidays by attending Ads Festival of Trees opening night gala. We are here at Snap Fitness. They have brand new owners. They are Amy and Adam Martinez. Welcome. Thank you. But they are not new to the area. They're from the area a little bit. Now, Amy, you are from Medford. Medford and Adam you're from Blooming Prairie. Blooming Prairie and they are you probably guessed husband and wife so what uh, why Snap Fitness why did you decide to purchase Snap Fitness? Um, we are, have both been fitness enthusiasts for quite a long time Adam's wanted to own a gym for several years um, we knew the previous owners and heard that they were looking to sell and it just kind of all fell into place to purchase this and kind of live our dream I guess now you've been uh, actively involved in fitness are you a certified trainer we are both personal trainers okay. I do also do some group training as well now we, like I said they've been open since September 1st uh, Adam give us a little rundown if someone wants to come in and, and check out snap fitness what is it you explain to them and, and give us a little uh, bit of what they can expect when they yep. come to snap fitness yes um, we give them a tour of the um, of Snap Fitness as well as um, our new, we, we do carry Octanes, um, great machine. Um, we also have the, we also give them um, a fit score as well as um, um, a basic gait and something to get started on. And how do you do the fit score? <laughs> you, it's like body mass index uh, measurement yeah, in yes, that? Yes, uh, um, flexibility, um, body mass, um, 
cardio strength and cardio endurance as well. So, because you, if you're going to do that, you need a starting point so they can set goals, right? Yes, that's right. That's correct. And I see you have uh, all Cybex equipment. We do. We do. We carry machines to um, to our treadmills as well as um, um, arc trainers. So. Now you have all different kinds of uh, equipment for different uh, types of fitness. You also have free weights, I see, we do, back yeah. there too. Yeah. So if someone comes in here uh, and they don't want to use all the equipment, do you just let them choose what they want, or do you try to guide them and give them some instruction? We like to kind of find out what their goals are and what they're looking to do if they're working on specific muscles or what their end result, mm -hmm. what they want it to be, and then we kind of we show them how to use different machines and give them kind of a plan to get to where they want to be. Now, do you have any uh, kind of different programs or different kind of classes that you offer as well? We have introduced uh, boot camps. Okay, explain <laughs> boot camps. Sounds like it's a real rigorous. You want to explain? <laughs> um, the boot camps will be a mix of cardio and strength exercises, um, small groups up to like five people maximum, so that we, they can basically get individualized personal training in a small group setting. Do you do also like circuit training at all? We do. Um, we use the machines. We use the free weights for it. We use um, just the open area as well to, to do the classes. So. so you concentrate on fitness for the body. Uh, do you do anything for health and wellness uh, outside of the fitness? We are um, currently um, going to be selling, it's called True Star. It's a uh, supplement that um, Snap Fitness is, is um, I guess, endorsing through the, through the club. So from vitamins to, to proteins to um, basically anything to, to not only be healthy internally, but as well as um, um, obviously with the machines, you know, out, you know, outside of the body as well. Now, you also mentioned that you are open 24 hours. How does that work? Um, when members sign up, they get an access card. Okay. And that access card, when they scan it at the door, it allows them to come in 24 hours when there's not staffed hours or any time that works for them they can come in and access the club and work out when it's convenient for them. Now do you have to have been a member here for a while so I mean you would probably uh, want someone to really know what they're doing and not someone who's just brand new on the equipment. Right um, that's why when they sign up we do give them a tour and show them how to use the equipment so that when they do start coming in on their own um, they know what they're doing or they can at least get started. Now, uh, so it's 24 hours a day, and you've been open since September 1st. Do you have people taking advantage of that yet? We do. Um, Adam works another job, and he works at night, too, so he's used to coming in at all hours of the night, and there's people here working out late at night, early, early in the morning. So. Well, it, it, you want people to get work fitness into their lifestyle, and uh, everyone's lifestyle is different, and it's, it's a very busy, everyone's busy with work and family and that, so it's nice to have it open 24 yeah. hours and squeeze it in. Yes. Now Adam, also you said that, well, uh, well I am concerned about this, uh, yeah. seniors, citizens, now that's a, a focus is put on seniors to get into wellness and be healthier and fit. Uh, how is that? Do you have anything special for them? Well, with, with the equipment that we have, um, a lot of it is, is very um, easy to use. I mean, I think um, um, Sorry, I mean, <laughs> um, Amy, do you have any? We, uh, there are some insurance reimbursements that will reimburse. We also right. have um, specific insurance for senior citizens mm -hmm. or silver sneakers as well that focus on the senior citizen lifestyle and getting them active. They get reimbursements um, to attend. That's to great. Yeah. I was not aware of that, and that's what a lot of people might be who live on a fixed income. Yeah. You know, might be worried about that. So that is a good, good thing to point out as well. Yeah. Now, Adam, we talked about uh, the vitamins and the different equipment that you have here. I'm looking around for someone who may not be into it a lot or updated with it recently. Um, why don't you give us a little bit of? I see you have some of those, the fitness balls over there. Just mm -hmm. uh, go around the room and just kind of explain what some of the things are that people are here, because a lot of people are not familiar with some of the latest equipment. Okay. Um, yes. Um, we do have your, your, your basic um, leg machines, um, extension, um, curl. We do have the, um, I don't know what they're called yet, but the, are they the valley balls or stability, stability balls, balls mm -hmm. as well as um, um, low wa um, weights. We, got, we have resistant bands um, as well. I, as I have to recommend those. I love them. I they're very them. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have medicine balls, which are weighted, um, good for um, strengthening the hands. Um, 
shoulders, mm -hmm. forearms, abs. We do have um, our chest press machines as well as our abductor adductor machine over there. We do have a uh, chin up um, and a dip machine. It's assisted, so it's weighted, really nice, good for you know everyone that you know may have you know for instance shoulder injuries as myself. And I see you have treadmills, which is basic. People, you know, yes. don't, they don't want to get into uh, a lot of physical things. Treadmills can really do it as well. Very much, very much. We have we have um, um, impact um, suspension. It's it's good for for you know for the knees if you have. Um, tough, you know, if oh, it's sure. tough, you know, um, running on, walking on your knees, or <laughs> on the knees, um, that's good for that. It, it, cause, it, it has a cushion, so it's kind of nice. Um, as well as our, you know, um, you know, a good um, s sprint, run, um, or, or fast walk treadmills as well. And what's also nice if you're working out, a lot of people they uh, if they don't. You know, when they're out walking, they probably have their iPads with. But here you have the televisions and other entertainment, so you can be doing that as you're working out as as well too. Now, Amy, um, is there when someone comes in, um, is do you buy? Do you have monthly, yearly memberships, or how does that work? Um, there's no contract, so they can be a okay. member month to month. Um, they can sign up just month to month, and we can you know withdraw it from their checking or their check card or their um, visa card otherwise they can sign like a 12 month commitment if they want to um, they get a little bit lower monthly dues um, as well as a couple free months if they sign up for a 12 month contract okay now if someone is just joining us we are here at snap fitness with its new owners adam and amy martinez so did we mention uh, you do have classes right we do yes yeah, we want to yes. kind of reiterate that again because yes. people think of fitness rather than just machines they may want to be with a group and do some classes right. so what were those classes once again they're boot camp classes right. um, small group five people maximum kind of a little bit more motivation to work out and push yourself a little bit harder is there an extra fee for that? there is an extra fee right now for those boot camp classes Okay, so but other than that, is one fee for unlimited use of your equipment? Yes, yeah, correct. As well as our, we do have um, tanning. Um, okay. That is also unlimited. Um, you can actually um, purchase that as well. Um, add that to your contract, or not to the contract. I'm sorry, but to your to your monthly um, dues. Um, and it's it's really nice, convenient. Um, you can walk in before you go home after work or before work, and just. Um, get a good, you know, four minutes or so, depending on how much you want to tan, uh, and yeah, in and out. Now, for someone who probably just uh, doesn't know where Snap Fitness is, where are you located? We are located on South Cedar Avenue. Um, Godfather's is right there. We're by the Salvation Army, right in the middle. So if you want to start a fitness program or continue one, stop by Snap Fitness and check them out. For the Owatonna Today Show at Snap Fitness, I'm Betty Johnson. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, Ann Pluskanko here from Senior Place. Senior Place has new hours. Mondays and Fridays, we're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Participate in Zumba Gold, Bike Club, table tennis, computer classes, speakers, and much more. Don't forget the Senior Place Partnership Program with 39 businesses giving discounts and incentives with your Senior Place membership card. Membership is only $35 for the year, which comes to just $3 a month to be a member. Consider joining us today. Effective Monday, October 15th, the clinic main entrance will be closed for construction. Please use our temporary entrance, the dialysis stores, and or the hospital main entrance. We appreciate your patience during our construction, but at the end, we'll have a pleasant entrance that is larger, warmer, and safe for our patients. Again, starting Monday, October 15th, the clinic main entrance will be closed for construction. Thank you. Do you know how to safely dispose of your expired or unused prescription and non-prescription medications? Not by flushing them down the toilet or putting them in the garbage. Doing so pollutes our rivers, streams, and drinking water supply. Take it to the box instead for safe, secure disposal. It's easy. 
Bring your unused medications in their original containers to the drop-off locations listed on the screen and drop them in the Take It to the Box drop box. Proper disposal of unwanted medications keeps them out of the hands of children and out of our environment. This is a message from the Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County. Hi, I'm Glenn Mager. And I'm Tim Thomas of the Brick Mager Funeral Home. And we're proud to serve the Medford and Oatana areas with cremation and traditional funeral services. And we're proud to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. And we're back with the Oatana Today Show. I'm Shelley Whitehead. In studio, I have Diana Sundwall and Deanna Kennan with me. They are with the Iris of, uh, what are you, Iris of Minnesota? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you in any county because we were talking earlier, and you are actually in six counties. We are in six counties. Originally mm -hmm. started in Faribault, mm -hmm. Rice County, but now you've just exploded. Ex yeah, we've, we've expanded. Let's start, start talking about, first of all, what is Iris? Iris stands for Infants Remembered in Silence. We are a 501c3 nonprofit that works with people who have children that pass away of any gestational age through early childhood. Okay, and um, we were talking a little bit about Iris. It's so fascinating to me how it's actually not remembered in silence anymore. No, so. it's, it used to be when we first started the program 25 years ago, talking about pregnancy loss was a very private issue and a, a major taboo, and now it's not such the case anymore, and so now it's, it's changed. It's changed. The name is still appropriate, but it's changed a little bit. Why do you think it's changed? I think because we've made it okay for people to talk about it. Yeah. I think it's because we we think that. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So talk about a little bit about what Iris uh, gives to people when. So it's like you said, it's for anyone who's lost a child between gestation and early childhood. What are some of the things that you offer to that, those families? Each. What we do is we break things down according to the type of loss. Mm -hmm. So if there's a miscarriage or a, we call it an early pregnancy loss, so that would be any child that would pass away before the gestational age of 20 weeks, we have a bereavement pack packet that would be specifically designed for them. Same thing for a baby that would die from stillbirth or from, for example, SIDS or an accident or something like that. Um, so there's a bereavement packet. We can go in and take um, into the hospitals with an advocate program where we have trained volunteers who will go in and work directly with the family and the child that's passed away and we will do um, handprints and footprints and sculptures or a casting of the child's hands and feet. We can help them take pictures, offer suggestions to them, answer their questions that they may have about you know, what happens next mm -hmm. and do I need to contact a funeral home and all those types of questions. We also have burial clothing that we've designed that will fit children from 10 gestational weeks, so about that big, mm -hmm. all the way through full term. And then we also have, um, we call them accident blankets. They mm -hmm. are for an older child that would pass away from any cause. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have support group meetings. We have all kinds of things that, that people can take part in. What I'm, as you're talking, one of the things that I'm <coughs> noticing is that you seem to be meeting needs as they come up because you talked about designing clothes for, for right. children. Talk a little right. bit about that. We started out where we had um, a family who said, I wish I would have clothing that would have fit my child. It was a baby that was born not full term, so it was a little bit smaller baby. So we designed clothing that would fit a child from 16 gestational weeks through full term and then we would have those available in the hospitals and the funeral homes free of charge for the families. We put blankets with them and hats and diapers and everything that was needed. Then we had a family that we worked with whose baby was much smaller. The baby was about three to four inches big and her only regret, and if you only have one regret, that's not bad. <laughs> her only regret was that there wasn't an outfit that would be the right size for her baby. And so we went back and we designed something that would fit a child that size and then sent it to her because she wasn't from our area. She happened to be in our area when she delivered and asked her if that would have worked and she called us up and was absolutely thrilled because it would have been perfect for her baby. Well, and that's the interesting thing is, is you actually found it, Iris. Right. This is something that you saw a need for. Mm -hmm. So you have had hands-on um, manipulation of the program and of, of what's happening to make sure that it meets needs. Right. And you talked a little bit earlier about a training session you just had last month. Talk, right. Talk about that a little we bit. We had a training session the first weekend in October here in Otana at the Ganey Center, which is a beautiful facility. 
Um, and we train people from all across the country, a lot of people from Minnesota, but from across the country as well, on how to do and provide the Irish services, mostly the advocate program. And it was a hands-on training, so they learned how to work with these babies with very fragile skin and mm -hmm. to meet their needs and to create some of the keepsakes and things for them as well. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit, um, Deanna, how did you get involved with Iris? I'm actually an Iris mom. Okay. So I've had two children that were stillborn. And the first child I had that was stillborn, mm -hmm. I delivered outside of the IRIS um, service area, but I live in Rice County. And a coworker of mine asked me if I'd ever heard of them, and I hadn't. And I got information and I attended a support group. And then less than a year later, 11 months later, my son was a full term stillborn. And IRIS was the first person we called, even before we called our families. Mm -hmm. And so Diana came to the hospital, and what I like to say is she helped us make memories mm -hmm. with our son and do the things that we didn't do with our daughter who was born 11 months earlier because we didn't know. Um, but those things to others might seem small, but my husband and I were able to make those memories by giving him his first bath, putting on his first diaper, you know, and all those things. So those are things I will treasure forever. Mm -hmm. And I am thankful that Iris provided that to us, which is why then I wanted to give back, which is why I started the turkey trot, or it was my idea. And I've had a lot of help, but I, I wanted to be able to figure out how can I give back to this organization? How can I make sure that they are around mm -hmm. as long as I can be so that nobody has to go through this kind of loss alone? Are you a runner? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, that's fascinating, isn't that fascinating? <laughs> so I mean, that's why we're here today, because while Iris in and of itself is fascinating, we, talk, we have been talking for mm -hmm. a long time, just right now, but I want to talk a little bit about the turkey trot. So tell us a little bit what's going on and when that's going to happen. Well, the turkey trot, this is our fourth annual, so it takes place on Thanksgiving morning. And it takes place in Fairbo at the Fairbo Middle School rain, shine, or snow is oh, what we I tell people. Yes, because you never know on Thanksgiving what kind of weather you're going to have in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. well, we've but had it all. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have. This is our fourth year. We have um, a tot trot, so that's for the children that are up to four years old. Then we have a kid's gobble wobble, which is the next age category, which is the five to ten year olds. Then we have a 5k walk, and then we have a 5k run, and a 10k run. The 10k is new this year. We wanted to continue to offer um, things that people have been saying they want, and the 10K was something right. that and we're... We try to listen to what mm -hmm. people are requesting. And not only with in within Iris, but within the Turkey Trot. Within the Turkey Trot, absolutely. Well, and so now you mentioned last year you had, the first year you were hoping for 100 people. Yes. And we're praying you, for 100. You're praying yes. for 100, and you got 500. It was about 500 people so that we had. last year, your fourth year was... Last year was the third year. Third year, you had about 1,500 1, people. And so. that doesn't account the you know, all the volunteers that are there, mm -hmm. and then all the people that come out to support either their family members or just support the organization. Mm -hmm. And what I have said is with this, with this event, we want to raise awareness, mm -hmm. and then of course we want to raise the much needed funds to support a nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. and all of our proceeds go to IRIS and go to continuing the services that they provide. So if someone mm -hmm. wants to be involved in this, how do they get involved in it? What do they, who do they contact? Well, they can contact the IRIS office or they can go to the website. Mm -hmm. And we, of course, they can get involved by participating in the event. We would love to see people out running and walking mm -hmm. and bringing their families. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers. And then we're mm -hmm. also always looking for sponsors and people who are willing to support and donate to the teams. There's a number of people that have um, created teams in memory of their own children and there's a feature through our website that they can um, provide donations and notes to those various different families um, for their teams. Well Diana I want to talk about that volunteer opportunities that you mm -hmm. have. You were saying that um, tell us a little bit about your office and how many <coughs> volunteers you have through the office itself. Well there's myself in the office and I have an administrative assistant that's there as well. Um, we have approximately 300 volunteers and we have some people who only volunteer just for one specific thing. Some people come and just volunteer for the turkey trot. Mm -hmm. We have other people who do a lot of knitting and crocheting for us. We have the Women's Federal Prison who does knitting and crocheting that. for us. That's mm -hmm. pretty neat. Um, but we have a lot of different opportunities for people. If somebody calls in and says they want to volunteer, we ask them what their, what their area of expertise or what they like to do mm -hmm. and try and plug them in that way because there's hundreds of opportunities Even for them to help. Even if it's flipping pancakes. We ha yes, absolutely. <laughs> we can have a bingo caller. Bingo <laughs> callers, somebody to help little people. Bing, put the dabbers <laughs> on their cards, yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. We have all kinds of things that they can help we, with. This is a fun opportunity, and it's, I think it's, it's very important because, as you said earlier, it's infants remembered in silence, but not anymore. 
Right. And it's something that you're you're hoping that never happens again. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's it's something I think that you when you volunteer, yeah. you receive more than you give. Mm -hmm. and I, I think, think that that's find a huge that thing. traditionally. And and I think one of the things that we've talked about is sharing your experiences helps someone else. It does. Because you're also a mom. Right. And it doesn't you don't have to be right. an Irish parent to volunteer right. for the organization. Right. And we actually have a number of people who are who are not, mm -hmm. but who care about maybe they've had friends, but they also care about the organization and are, you know, just want to help others. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. We hope we see you at, at the turkey trot that's in Fairbo coming up on Thanksgiving Day. It's yes. easy to remember the date. Yes, <laughs> this is. And work off those calories before you eat turkey. Exactly. We'll be back right here on the Oatana Today Show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy Martinez. And I'm Adam Martinez, owners of Snap Fitness in Oatana. Snap Fitness is a fast, convenient, and affordable fitness center, and we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. Here at the Owatonna Care Center, we strive to create an atmosphere of community and family. We have many family members who are highly involved in the care of their loved ones and the activities and events that are put on at the facility. There are many opportunities each month for families and residents to gather together for meals and various activities. We feel that it's important to make our residents feel like they are at home, whether they reside here long term or they're here visiting for a short stay. We welcome community members to stop in at any time to be part of our community. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House and Clarebridge, and we're a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. In 2011, United Way funded programs provided services to over 10,000 Owatonna residents. For the second consecutive year, the vast majority needed help to meet their most basic needs, food, clothing, housing, and safety. United Way of Steele County is able to sustain a safety net of direct services, prepare our children for the future, and provide seniors with support to age in place due to the generosity of our community. Please make a donation to United Way again this year. Our neighbors are counting on us, and we are counting on you. And we're back on the Owatonna Today Show. We want to give you a quick, a few quick announcements from the community. Stop by the Sterling House Owatonna tomorrow for coffee and caramel rolls. Cinnamon rolls are also available from Custom Coffee. We all know how yummy those are. It's a perfect opportunity to welcome Sean McNulty as their new executive director and tour the beautiful communities and living living uh, so uh, living area. They have assisted living as well as a memory care area. They'd love for you to join them. It's tomorrow, November 8th from 9.30 to 11 a.m. Also, the Homestead Hospice House is having their beer tasting event. This is coming up tomorrow as well from 6 to 9 at the Holiday Inn. Bratwursts are available because they always taste better with beer, don't they? <laughs> Raffle prizes. It's the, at the Holiday Inn this Thursday from 6 to 9. Tickets are 15 in advance or $20 at, a door, at the door. And proceeds do benefit the Homestead Hospice House Patient Care Fund. Also, don't forget the 20th annual wine and cheese tasting at the Owatonna Arts Center coming up on November 9th from 6.30 to 9. Tickets can be purchased at Cashwise Liquor, Cot Keys, and the Arts Center, $10 in advance or $15 at the door. I want to thank you so much for joining us here on the Owatonna Today Show. Please like us on Facebook or send us an email if you don't have Facebook, letting us know you would like a pair of tickets to the Blades game. It's a lot of fun, and it's a great opportunity for you to get together with your family. I know things can get crazy, so why not take some time with your family and see a Blades game right here in Steele County? Thank Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you on Friday. I'm Shelley Whitehead.